it's more Monster Seed Epic Fighto time, everyone. Um, still fighting those stupid, stupid bandits. I did everyone a big favour and cut all the walking because, quite frankly, I don't think you really want to see a few minutes of me, even with the fast forward button on, walking through corridors. Anyway, um, I've been informed by Kaylee Boy that uh, there's actually going to be a sequel for this very game app. Um, on the PSP in fact. He said it was called Monster Seed United but I think he's actually gotten it confused with Monster Hunter United. Um, <laughs> uh, if anyone actually has any information on Monster Seed United, if it even exists, could you let me know? Because uh, I've looked all over the internet for information on Monster Seed coming to the PSP and I've not been able to find any. Don't get me wrong, Monster Hunter Freedom United is going to be awesome, after all it is Monster Hunter, but it's not Monster Seed, so uh, <laughs> unless of course you do have the link Cal and prove me wrong then um, I'll be happy to be proven wrong because I really want this seed to be given a regenerative kick up the backside, so to speak. Anyway, I should really be commenting more in the match. Anyway, I just summoned out my monsters, and um, yeah, I decided to summon Odie with uh, Rory Dog because they complement each other. I mean, Odie can actually lower people's lightning and ice resistance, and since that's uh, Rory Dog's main form of attack, I figured they'd be a good dynamic duo together. As you can see, he's frying that ruler's ass right at this very second in time. Um, and he's doing a really good job actually. <laughs> oh, that move looked pretty damaging there. Um, the enemy ruler's on the ropes. I can't remember his name, he's so generic. Lol. Anyway, um, one of his monsters has just been released into the wild so to speak and um, hopefully I can finish this off before his monsters do too much damage. I think what I'm going to do here is actually tell Rory Dog to go on suicide and just to get a quick victory in. Um, I believe, you know, he can end the match within like the next turn if he really wants to, so I'm really happy just to let him go straight for the leader because if he does one move, any move, it will probably kill him. And since he has ranged attacks, I think he um, can get this match over and done with really quickly. Of course, Odie's going to do his usual thing and harass people, although I'm not sure what he's talking about death blows for because he's a harass monster, he doesn't actually do any physical damage, he just lowers people's resistances. Unfortunately for me, he's lowering the resistance of uh, the enemy ruler, but for light magic, and since most of my monsters don't use that, it's pretty fucking pointless. Hopefully this time he'll actually do something useful, more like electricity or I saw something. Yay! Water magic! That's useful. That's useful. We can live with that. Oh, anyway, hopefully it'll be Rory's dog's turn soon. Yep, that's right, Odie. Block off Rory's dog so he can't fucking get by you, melon. Oop, another Rory dog clone's just come out. Ooh, I think he's just won the match for me here. Oh, that just nailed him. Rory Dog's just done the killing blow. Well done, buddy.
Right then, this is a walking part. And I'm not going to speed this up because I want you guys to know exactly what it's like walking through a dungeon. Um, as you can see, there are no maps, so you can't really tell where you're supposed to be going. Oh, traps. Not the most sophisticated trap in the world. I mean, you can just easily walk past it. It's not a big deal. Somehow we got over the trap. Yeah, it wasn't too difficult, buddy. I'd be more worried about the rulers trying to beast the shit out of your face or something. Ooh, healing items. Handy. <laughs> I told you it was boring, didn't I? And the worst thing is, these dungeons are actually quite complex. I mean, they're not simple. They are quite maze-like. At least all the rooms don't look the same, that's the main thing, you know. All the rooms have their own feel and their own theme to them, I guess. At the moment I'm just scavenging for treasure chests. Seems to be getting me a lot of solutions and a lot of items, so yeah, you know, it's all good. I've noticed that money doesn't really mean very much in this game. Anyway, stay tuned for more exciting adventures on Monster Seed.